According to World Economic Forum, 85 million jobs will be replaced by AI by 2025. And on top of that, PwC, PricewaterCoopers, said an estimated 30% of all jobs will be replaced by AI in mid-30s. Goldman Sachs said 300 million jobs are going to be replaced. But a data came out, which is very crazy, breaking down who does AI hurt the most, men or women? Whites, blacks, Hispanics, Asians. Those with a high school diploma, those with bachelors, those with masters. And then what jobs are gonna be replaced? What jobs are gonna be protected? And then what new skill sets are on the rise? We're gonna talk about all of that today. If you value added this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. So check this out. According to McKinsey, by 2030, at least 14% of employees globally might need to change their careers due to digitization, robotics, and AI advancements. So what is Pew Research saying on who's going to be affected by AI? If you look at this chart here, look what it says. What shares of workers are the most exposed to AI in their jobs? So men, 17%. Women, 21%. More than men. Whites, 20%. Blacks, only 15%. Hispanics, only 13 Asians, highest, 24 AI is going to impact Asians the most, according to this. Then it goes to education. Less than a high school diploma, it's not going to affect you. Why, though, somebody may ask. High school diploma, 12%. Some college, 19%. Look at bachelors. The most educated people who have gone to this school and educational system that we have, that we're going to be all free if we get this degree. They are the ones, 27%, most likely to be impacted by AI. But I'm following what you're telling me to do. I went to school. I got this degree. How can this impact me? There's a reason for it. Let's break it down. Because on this next page, it talks about what jobs are going to be automated. Number one, customer service representative, automated. Receptionist, automated. Accountants and bookkeepers, automated. Salespeople, automated. Research and analysis, automated. Warehouse work, automated. Insurance underwriting, automated. Retail, automated. Now, here's some that says which jobs will not be replaced at all. Number one is teachers, which I don't know about that because I think a lot of teachers, how many people are taking Udemy classes and there's going to be these videos that are being made Made that are faceless videos. It's just audio, put the content, go. You know how many YouTubers right now have millions of subscribers you don't ever see a face? It's just automated. You can create content now. Did you watch the video of Sam Altman talking about the new advanced AI, what it's doing? A guy says, here, let me show you guys what this got hundreds of millions of views on social. We'll give you an example of it. One guy says, how about a person walking in the streets of Japan while it's snowing? Advanced AI just made that video and it looks 100% real. What if somebody is stuck in, you know, space and he's wearing a red something hat or whatever it was that person is created walking on space going to a spaceship all of these people are putting this stuff within seconds that video pops up do you know what happens to the film industry i need a scene with somebody going through this boom within seconds you know what's going to happen with editors i mean obviously no one's listening to you our editors do you know what's going to happen to these editors i have two editors here right now asking me to be a construction worker at the end of this video i told them no sam and mike we're not doing it you're going to be editing for us. Teachers, in my opinion, will be affected by this. But in this opinion, according to Pew, they're not going to be. We'll see who's right. Lawyers and judges will not be affected by it. Bunch of judgmental people. Directors, managers, and CEOs won't be affected by it. HR managers won't be affected by it. Psychologists and psychiatrists, you're safe. Surgeons, you're safe for the time being. Computer system analysts, you're safe. Artists and writers, although some people may say, ChatGPT is starting to write a script. You know, if you want to go on ChatGPT and say, write me a hip-hop song in the words of the way Tupac would speak, but the way that Trump speaks. And then boom, you put it together. You can write music nowadays. How many people that are writing lyrics are using ChatGPT today that maybe they didn't have that 20 years ago? Maybe some of that is also being automated. Now, top 10 skills on the rise according to World Economic Forum. Number one, creative thinking. I don't know if Klaus Schwab knows that's been on the rise for a long time, but these guys just figured it out, so they put it on the list. Creative thinking, folks, is on the rise. For the first time in the history of mankind, we like creative of thinking. Number two, analytical thinking. This is the first time we've ever valued analytical thinking, folks. It's never happened before, but today we value it. Number three, technological literacy. Okay, maybe that's a new one right there. Four, curiosity and lifelong learning. I value that. Number five, resilience, flexibility, and agility. Six, system thinking. Seven, AI and big data. Eight, motivation and self-awareness. Nine, talent management. And ten, service 
orientation and customer service. By the way, I fully agree with all these 10. I don't know if it's on the rise. It's always been valuable, but it's probably more valuable today than ever before because most people who know how to do this, you're gonna be able to see certain things that a machine may not be able to see. Which by the way, I agree with this list. I think this is an evergreen list that's gonna help you out, especially today with all the stuff that's going on with AI. But if you notice one thing on the list that's not on there, you notice it's not saying problem solving. It's not saying dealing with other people teamwork maybe because they don't believe we're going to be working together that's what world economic forum thinks they're thinking everyone's going to be working from their home or a little bit cubicle in their house so you don't have to learn how to interact with other people although number 10 is customer service but you notice that's not on the list although i would put that on the list for conflict re resolution you're always going to need that all right so for some of you that want some high paying jobs according to what the current market is looking at here's the 10 highest paying ai jobs and best salaries of 2024 number one machine learning engineer hundred nine thousand dollar average salary AI engineer, 160. Data scientist, 65. Computer vision engineer, 168. Natural language processing engineer, 86. Deep learning engineer, 141. AI research scientist, 115. Business development manager, 196. AI product manager, 128. And AI consultant, 125. So if you're watching this, you're sitting there saying, Pat, I'm a little worried. Are you telling me my job's gonna be replaced? It depends. If you sit there and do nothing about it, yeah, probably it is. By the way, everything in life, whether it's your career, business, marriage, kids, politics, everything's about leverage. So what does it mean about leverage? What leverage do you have in the economy for the economy to say, damn, we need this guy. We can't lose this guy. What leverage do you have? What's your leverage? What's the leverage for your husband to say, man, freaking this wife of my, you know, well, a wife of mine is amazing. She's such a great mother. She does this, she does that. What's the leverage for a husband, your wife to say, man, my husband is a freaking amazing. What leverage do you have for your kids one day get married and have their own kids and have a choice between going to different in-laws to choosing you over the other in-law. What leverage do you have? What leverage do you have for people to want? Everything is about leverage and what you bring to the marketplace. So for those, a guy calls me the other day saying, hey, Pat, are you noticing your YouTube views dropping? So not right now. He says, because a lot of us who are talking to each other, we're feeling it, you know, and we're noticing that this is what's going on with this. And I said, listen, it's because you're doing the same content you did four years ago. What's changed about your content? Algorithms get bored. Audience gets bored. There's a lot of YouTubers that have three, four, five, 10 million subscribers that there is no new, new audience that's interested in their content today because they already know what they stand for. So no matter what it is, don't let this be a fear of AI. This is everything in life. If your business doesn't improve, clients are gonna go elsewhere. If your vision is not real and the people working for your company don't see you driving towards the vision, they're gonna go find somebody that's got a real vision instead of just talking about they got a vision. So let's talk about it. Number one, constant learning and improving. As long as you're ahead of the game, you don't have to worry about being replaced because you're constantly improving yourself. Number two, soft skills. Yes, we're probably going in an era where we're gonna be working with a lot of computers, machines, and maybe some people are gonna be working from home, but I'm here to tell you, people are gonna to wanna to go to a market to be around other people. No matter how much they try to do the eBooks, no matter how much they do eBooks, okay? I'm gonna go read eBooks, that's what I'm gonna do, and bookstores are gonna go away. We still wanna to go to Barnes & Noble, there's a market to wanna to go to Barnes & Noble. No matter how much they do, hey, I, I want food to be delivered to my house, People want to go to a place where there's people. They don't want to, no matter how much you get to watch every big concert in the world, you can watch it here. Why did Taylor Swift break the record for concerts? Why would people want to go see her physically? They can watch the damn video for free because we need to be around other people. That's how God created us. So don't fall for this foolish trap of we don't need to learn how to get along with other people and develop soft skills. Number three, be agile, be nimble, and be ready to adapt because at any point things can move very quickly, right? And last but not least, anticipate. Think like a general, what could potentially happen in the next three, five, 10, 15, 20 years within my industry and how can I have an advantage? How can I put, position myself in a way to win? If you're just sitting there still using the same software and you're like, oh my God, look what they're doing to editing with AI. This is so deeply concerning. No, how can I use this to provide a better product for my clients that they're gonna sit there and say, shit, you're doing this and this and this, the other guy's done? Good for you, you're not a lazy guy. There's a, in every possible way, if you, find a way to have leverage by differentiating yourself against your competitors. You don't have a lot to worry about in the market of capitalism because the market's always going to want people that innovate, improve, and anticipate what's to come next. Having said that, if you enjoyed this video, there's another video I want you to watch. We did a video on deep fakes and AI, how it's shocking the economy. If you've never seen a click here to watch it, take care everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.